Have I told you about the time that I uh, won the decker? I knew you were going to say that. I've not even <laughs> scripted that. Good morning. Hello. My name is Daniel. This is James. And today we've got a big announcement. More so for you than for I, James. <laughs> yeah. But I think we need to sit down to talk about it. Let's find a cafe, shall we? Okay, mate. This is going to be good. Bear with us, we might eventually get there. We've had a lot of, I'm just getting my bearings. Oh wait, hang on, let me just have a look at. <laughs> it's gravel, mate, isn't it? It's gravel, it's an adventure. I know, we can't even blame a popular route planning app because we haven't got route plans. It's, it's all in here. It's like a steel trap, this is. <laughs> all right, so we finally found a cafe stop. Thank you, James, for a coffee and cake and can of coke. I made, made the most of it you were buying. <laughs> now this video, we're going to be announcing what James is doing and talking a little bit about it, but we can't cover it all in one video. So we're going to be doing a live stream as part of the Monday night live stream thing that I've been doing. Monday the 13th of November, seven o'clock. So if you are interested, please do come along. You can join the chat, join the Zwift ride. James, you'll be at my house riding on Zwift. This is the only way you're going <laughs> yeah, to get me to ride indoors. Ex exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, after this year. So if you've got any more questions, we're well, looking forward to talking about it in more detail then. But let's get stuck into it, James. What are you going to be doing or attempting in 2024? Yeah, okay. So uh, further to raising uh, more money for the... Uh, charity that we've set up in my hometown of Oldfram to provide youth activities yeah. um, we're going to try and raise some more money by uh, trying to break a world record yeah. um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> go on. Um, this isn't like a, you know, a, a oh this is a really niche thing this is a legit yeah it's, like, it's an existing world record yeah. right now yeah um, which is terrifying because obviously yeah. I'm just some pleb aren't I we all know that <laughs> uh, but I'm going to give it my best shot I mean, it's mm -hmm. going to be an adventure having a go mm -hmm. so I'm going to have a go at breaking I've got to get it's really difficult with Guinness World Records because this is, you've got to be specific about what yeah. it's called so the title of the world record is longest continuous single event triathlon yeah so what that means is swim bike run in certain proportions uh, but it's non-stop so yeah. uh, you can't have any breaks longer than five minutes. Yeah. So we've seen some time. people do them and it takes them like six months because they just swim every day for a month. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that, it no. is like one off. Yeah. You can't stop for more than five minutes. That's right, yeah. So it's governed Sorry. basically by how long you stay awake. Yeah. And for those of you who've seen me do uh, something like a triple or, or a double, you've seen how useless I am uh, when I've not had very much sleep. Yeah. So it's going to be a, uh, a real challenge. Obviously, the swim is going to be long and uh, although we're going to be doing it in summer, but yeah. cold for me because I'm Nesh when it comes to swimming. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we're going to have a go. And obviously I've got a great team at the back of me. Obviously we've got Dan uh, involved. Uh, and then obviously there'll be James Saxby. He'll be doing the hardest job, obviously, like he normally does. Of course he will. Matt Bagshaw. James, can um, I just point out what's happening here, please? <laughs> oh yeah, we've got dogs. <laughs> dogs pulling uh, trailers. Yeah, just Brilliant. perfectly run of the mill so, stuff. There'll probably be lots of questions, but one of them is about the proportions of the disciplines. Can you remember the percentage off the top of your head? Yeah, so it's something like I think it's got to be seven percent swim, yeah. uh, maybe something like seventy-seven and a half percent bike, and yeah. then nineteen and a half percent run, something like that. Yeah, and you're allowed a plus or minus, obviously. Um, it's quite small margins. Yeah, small margins, plus or minus. Swimming's open water. It biking, has to be open water. Is it biking. Be on the road? Uh, well, Mixed. we think it can't be on a velodrome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've already looked into that. Uh, so yeah, uh, and a lot of it depends on whether we can find somewhere suitable to do it, because obviously it's night cycling, so we want it to be safe. Yeah. And then the running is, uh, you know, my uh, heritage really, just really long, really slow runs. But obviously the trick is, it can't be slow enough so that you run out of time before you have to go to sleep. Yeah. Because um, an example would be, when I did the triple, uh, towards the end of the run, I was so tired that I was traveling so slow that it was quicker for me to have a 40 minute sleep and then still make that time up afterwards yeah. because I was able to run faster. So but okay. we, we haven't got that option this yeah. time. So as I say, that's a real top line. That's what you're going to do. Now, we need a lot of help for this, don't we, right? <laughs> yeah. like, you to, <laughs> I need all the help you, I can get. You've assembled a core team. <laughs> yep. Where is it going to be and when is it going to be? Now, it's going to be July. It's going to be in July. The, the, the date is, it's not 100% firm, but it's pretty likely that it's going to be probably the second or uh, yep. third week in July. Um, uh, uh, probably over a weekend or maybe starting Friday, we're going to work that out depending on uh, what's, uh, what um, venues yep. uh, are, we're able to secure. Um, 
yes we've got the core team uh, I'm probably going to be calling on people because obviously everybody who watches your channel has uh, got some experience in the triathlon and sporting world so probably have to call on some favours and again the job is, is just to raise as much money as possible because yeah. we're now spending it hand over fist we in order yes. on youth activities so good and we're going to do a video about that soon aren't yes. we now what we also want we want a lot from these people don't we yes. what we're also wanting is now this we haven't gone into too much detail today because not everything's planned there's some things that we, we re really haven't got sorted yet so swim location is not confirmed bike route and location is not confirmed run loop route location is not confirmed but it, we know it's going to end up in a, in around Alfred yes. somewhere so if you have any ideas about a swim location which you think is convenient to us if you think there's Derby any... Alfreton yes what we had in mind was lavender patch in Derby and then to bike somewhere around there finish up near uh, Cromford Matlock area run up and down Cromford Canal finish in Alfreton Park is one working idea we've got but we'd also quite like to try and find a closed circuit to do some of the cycling on it's safer at night we'll cover more ground drafting is allowed so we're going to have some people riding to tow you along James just like every normal day to be honest <laughs> yeah exactly and so we've tried for example Darley Moore is booked up that weekend and we're just not sure so if you are somebody who knows of a premises or an industrial estate or a big factory with a massive I don't know area where you can cycle around I don't really know yeah. please do drop in my emails down below if you've got any ideas or suggestions about how you might help we're going to have a car or a vehicle following James at all times we have to video the whole thing for Guinness there's so much that goes into it but at this early stage any little bit of help we can get and I can't promise we'll take you up on all of it but we'd be so grateful for it wouldn't we so yeah it makes a big difference I mean I literally can't do any of this on my own <laughs> because I'm useless uh, so it's all about the people helping me to do it and uh, then we get to our goal don't we which is is basically uh, kids having uh, as good a time as possible yes so any part of that whether it's logistics whether it's support whether it's equipment whether it is companies or people or just an idea yeah if you just fire it idea. away to me because we are all ears aren't we yes so, definitely yeah. we've, had, we've had one meeting already but plenty more meetings to come there's loads of characters for yeah. you to meet I mean you've, you know some of them I know you do what with James and uh, Matt Bagshaw and all yeah. the usual uh, people my brother Ash will be involved obviously uh, but there is also some new characters kicking about so yeah. it'll be a right life yeah but Monday the 13th 7pm I'll leave the live stream up as a video afterwards so if you can't watch it there and then hopefully we'll get some questions answered there but if you've got any questions now drop them in the comments down below and we'll cover them during that live yeah, stream yeah I'll answer any questions and, and uh, obviously I'm pretty um, now I'm pretty experienced in uh, long distance events so if anybody's got any endurance questions then I'll be glad to give you my perspective on it. Yeah, let's do it, let's get a world record. I mean the support crew does take glory as well. Obviously yeah, yeah. Well you take glory for everything when yeah, you can. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers, cheers. <laughs>